Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. This is the part of the video where I do a quick recap of what's happened last time to remind myself what's happened last time. But if you want to jump to the reaction timestamp below, we're entering a new arc and it seems to be revolving around Ryu and her past. She has, she's looking like Uchiha Sasuke. She's got those vengeance filled eyes, right? Every time that she saw that specific adventurer that was, that, um, that, that was like demi-human, right? Her eyes just turn red and she's just out to kill. Did she actually kill that person though? That everybody's kind of saying, hey, we saw a corpse and we saw Ryu also there at the same time. We didn't see her actually do the act. But that's enough for us to fucking just go on a witch hunt because, because they just want the fucking 80 million ballast bounty. That's it. That, that, I don't think they care of shit. I don't think they give a shit about justice or anything about their comrades. I think they just want the 80 mil bounty. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> The better plan right now, right, is to basically go with the witch hunt, saying, oh yeah, we're gonna catch Ryu too, but we get to her first, work things out, and get get out of there. But the but the the most dangerous part of this entire thing is it's not just a hunt for Ryu. It's a premonition. Cassandra keeps having these goddamn dreams, and they're just a catastrophe every time. Last time it was about Moss Huge. This time it's Everybody is dead. Well, not dead. Everybody is down for the count. Everybody's just ble bleeding out in the intro scene of the previous episode. It's just Ryu and Bell that seems to be fighting some kind of shadow-like slim creature that comes out of the walls. I don't know. Probably some kind of monster that's in the 27th floor that's apparently supposed to be stronger than the field boss himself. He's about to spawn in like two weeks. I guess that's like a month time. There's a month cooldown for the spawn timer. But this threat is supposed to be assumed to be stronger than the fuel boss itself so we got we got a big we got a big challenge coming up and the worst part of it all it's not even about the misunderstanding of ryu it's not even about the new premonition it's the fact that no one will fucking listen to cassandra because <laughs> look i talked about in the previous episode how if i'm just trying to meta game i'm trying to strategize the most least uh path of resistance right but that wouldn't be fun for the show if everyone just listened to cassandra like oh wow Okay, we'll listen to you directly, we'll heed all your warnings, and we'll be more prepared. However, it doesn't mean that we aren't completely unprepared. Bell does have a new scarf made out of Lily's robe. I think this is supposed to kind of counter... Uh, one of the lines in the prophecy, in, in the premonition, it was like, something of blight, severe blight, plight? Was it blight? Maybe there's poison? I don't fucking know. It's some old ass words, but the premonition did sound cool when Cassandra was basically... You know, saying it in her dream. Also, Jesus, when she woke up, that, that fan service. But we're going to the 27th floor, and Bell's by himself. Why? Because no one else is allowed to go with him, or the premonitions, you know, everybody's kind of down for the count, right? If we if we sent Aisha and Bell too, they were also just like bleeding out, so it's not good. So I guess we only have to... Is this really smart? <laughs> we're sending Bell all the way down by himself? Is that what I'm understanding correctly at the end here? I guess it's gonna make for some fun content. Maybe we'll meet the Zenos. Maybe we'll meet Marie. I, no, Marie's above. It's too late. Maybe we'll meet a new girl. I don't know. Maybe the the boss that's supposed to be stronger than the field boss is a new girl. I don't know. Ryu, what are you doing? Let's watch today's episode. The embodiment of ruin. Don't approach it. Don't touch it. Is it like poison? I don't know. Lily looks dead. The hammer is well. Oh. Oh no. It's basically kind of talking about every member in our crew right now. Aisha. But. Oh. Someone's gonna bite her all the way down. <laughs> no, Daphne! <laughs> what about Bell, though? It's a banquet of tra. How about we avoid the tragedy by not just going. But we have to save for you. You gotta see what's up with her. This premonition just got more fucked up. Honestly. I'm not that much of a fan of the lower floors because of the scenery change. Like, I like the new danger, but it's the environment's too dark, and it's always, like, dark bluish, and we're just sitting near the water. Like, can we have a switch in scenery? I want there to be, like, oh, more open space and bright colors. I don't know. It's just personal earth in mind. Shit. Never was like, goddamn. Little rookie. I mean, rabbit's foot's pretty fucking good. The scarf. So it can be also used as a weapon, not just for defense, but is it going to protect us from the severe plight? Marie? Marie? Singing? Who else do we know singing down here before? Marie, right? <laughs> We're dipping. Bye-bye. Splitting up. Good chance. Get out. If we get to see Marie already? 
What a werewolf, dude. Is he sus? Um, uh, he's suspicious. Intuition? I mean, I don't know, but we should listen to. What's <laughs> I should relax. <laughs> let's just fucking murk him right now. Fuck it. Let's kill him right now and then let's go after Bell. I. Yes, I say you're correct, but. But. Yeah, we should think about what could happen afterwards. We should solve it with diplomacy, but I should say, nah, fuck it. Let's, let's assassinate him then. We'll be more secretive. I don't know what happened to that guy. He just fell off the cliff. Mermaid. Marie. Marie? Hello? It is her! She's stuck at the seashell, brah. Hello. Oh, Belle's getting wet. Are you sure it's smart to... I don't know, like... When I think about survival, you want to, like, stay dry and stuff and, you know, care about, like, hypothermia. But I guess in anime logic, it doesn't really matter. He got fireball. He can fucking, you know, dry his clothes. What happened? Did she encounter the boss stronger than the field boss? That shouldn't be... So it's not Moss Huge this time. Who is it? Who the fuck is it this time? The guy that obviously is, you know, from the premonition, but you're not sure. Unknown to Marie. Through that hole? Yeah? Should we go? I don't know. It's kind of scary. You do know where she is. Okay. Alright. Okay. We might have a lead to Ryu. We successively kind of got separated from the other party. But I don't feel good about this at all. Who is this? It's a snake. Is the snake the monster that we're supposed to fight? Or is that the field? I don't know. Field boss is supposed to spawn two weeks after. He's pretty fast in water. Oh? Who are... Oh. Ryu! Oh, we found her already. God, that was kind of fast. Hi. All right, we're friends, right? Come on, we got to hit. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're friends, right? Who are you? No, I just want to help you out. What the fuck? Okay, she's back. Kranos, please leave us. Jesus, I was like, why are you here? I'm like, Jesus. I've never seen her this upset. I've never seen her this loud. She's still losing. <laughs> of course she has to, but... What's going on? Tell us! Has to do with her family being, you know, murdered in the past, but... Is he directly related to the past? <laughs> She's gotten him. Yes, I mean... Of course you should have, but if we do that, it'd be too easy or something, yeah. God, she looks fucking upset. She looks so angry. How does her vengeance plot tie in with the monster down here that Marie says shouldn't be here? And is that monster really the snake or is that a fake out? Oh, he's gonna be betrayed by the one he trusts. Ryu, are you gonna betray us? Maybe. Premonitions aren't absolute though, right? I don't know. <laughs> Bye, Marie. He basically said to Marie what Ryu said to Belle. <laughs> don't follow me! Okay, at least he says sorry. At, at, at least he says sorry. I mean, you can't, you can't walk. There's no water here. I'm sorry, Marie. More adventurers that got caught up by Ryu, probably. Or was it the snake? I mean, the snake would have bites. Do they look like they have, you know, slits in their wrists and ankles, like how Ryu would do? We're back with the main party. Most likely. There was a guy that was injured and I was helping him, but he's dead. I promise I didn't kill him. What if it wasn't a monster, though? Now, it's most unlikely, but what if it was? Uh, trying to blame it on Ryu? Uh, doesn't, make, doesn't, doesn't make sense. Probably not. Most likely, but like, I don't want to believe it. But it's so believable that she did it because of the same type of injury. 
But the fact that the story literally said, and the random NPC literally s Okay, confirm it right now. Was it the Gilwind? Oh, even his ear got ripped off. But apparently they're trash. It should be monster food, so... Now, let's do a little bit more of Minson Gymnastic. What if it's a monster that can shapeshift into Galewind and is doing this? Nah, I'm getting... I'm reaching too hard. Magic! Whoa, 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 I think I missed something important there. It was bright and you couldn't see any... You don't want to get healed? Relax. God, he looks fucking traumat- I mean... He was, it's a life or death situation, of course he was traumatized, but... Oh, it's the same evil family that, you know, Ryu's got a vengeance plot against, right? So... Okay, it's literally the same one, yeah. Makes, makes, makes a lot of sense, like, Ryu would do that. But, a couple of them are still here. All in the lower floor? Really, are you the only survivor? So there's a, pe there's a bunch of people... And Ryu's finding them all. How? By torturing and trying to interrogate where the others are? But he just literally said he's the only one left. Maybe there's other evilist family yeah, that's involved in the vengeance plot? We found Ryu again? She's approaching us. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I thought she was picking off one by one, but she wants to... I think she would win. I th yeah, these guys are fucking nobodies. You know, is there aim to kill the guy that got, you know, the the guy from the family that's like bleeding out, right? Yes, yes, yes. He's she's specifically after him. Yeah. He doesn't care about the party. He cares about hair. Bell will probably do something to help Ryu in a discreet way. No, you shouldn't get cocky. You shouldn't get cocky. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up! Now you remember all that? <laughs> Did he miss on purpose? Yes. Bye. She's just using like a wooden branch. You know, I knew that Ryu was strong. But like, this is making her seem really fucking strong. Uh... Yeah, she might need to be honest. She, she didn't smack us with her fucking, you know, wooden stick. No, Bell's not gonna stand. It's not like Bell to just let murder happen in front of him. He's going to fight Ryu. So all this just to find this one dude? And I get the vengeance? But... <laughs> Jesus, this camera angle. But... Somehow, us going further in... Kind of gets us in a shitty situation where that monster could attack us. So I'm gonna guess... It's gonna be Ryu versus Bell for a bit, and then the monster comes out of nowhere and blindsides us. Does the environment kind of looks like Sandra's premonition? But Jesus Christ, Ryu, you wouldn't, would you? I think she might. I, I I don't know. I think I think she might, and that's the episode. So everything the the banquet of tragedy happens because of the elf with fury. I'm probably butchering the premonition, but everybody else kind of dies. I'm looking at the scene. Of where everyone's kind of fucked up. There is a body of water near us. And it's like... We're not quite there yet. But I guess because Ryu is after you know her vengeance plot. And because she's going further down to the lower floors to find the targets. And, and that kind of made Belle's party follow her down. Then we get ambushed by this monster that's supposed to be stronger than the fuel boss. A monster that's supposed to not be here. That Marie said. An unknown monster. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it went. But it also did show us a snake with red eyes. Was that a fake out? Is it the actual monster that we're talking about? Or is it completely different? Maybe it is a snake and it's supposed to attack us. So if you're plight, poison, snake. Doesn't that kind of make sense? Everybody seems to be suffering. I I mean, I it's like the de like everybody just like really bloodied up, but I can't really tell how they're suffering. But it does make sense if it's poison, right? I don't think the poison, like, is that scarf supposed to save us from the poison? I don't know, maybe it can fend off the fangs, but my guess is the monster is a snake. It's gonna ambush Ryu and Bell while they're gonna fight for a bit. Obviously, Bell's not gonna back down, even if the murder is justified. Then again, is any murder justified? 
Maybe I got a fucked up logic. Maybe I'm too extreme like Ryu. But if you think about it, it is the person that was responsible for killing your own family. Imagine that. Somebody wipes out your family. And then they're living their life trying to get back on a good path. But wouldn't you still harbor that kind of vengeance? Wouldn't you want to kill that guy? I would never let it down, to be honest. I don't give a shit if you're trying for redemption. What's done is done. I need to settle the score. Then again, I'm a little bit too extreme, maybe. It's not, it's never saying an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. Fuck it. Maybe they do deserve it. Maybe we all deserve to go blind. I'll go... Probably not. But I guess the snake monster is going to show up. I don't really know. We'll find out tomorrow, though. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you do enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to buckle percent my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.